You may not care about AI, but AI will care about you far more than politics ever did. The godfather of AI, Jeffrey Hinton, together with Ilya Sutskiver and Eric Schmidt, has just issued a joint warning. You have no idea what's coming. Within the next 10 to 20 years, maybe sooner, the world will switch places. Digital intelligence will surge ahead faster than language, faster than law, faster than our ability to imagine what it's becoming. This video is a map of risks, opportunities, and survival. It's not a scare piece. It's a field report from the core of the AI revolution. We'll connect three perspectives from inside the machine. Jeffrey Hinton, the father of modern neural networks. Ilya Sutskiver, one of OpenAI's founding architects. Eric Schmidt, the former Google CEO who steered the company through the mobile shockwave. The question is no longer if, it's when. And where will you stand when the wave hits? Will you be swept away or will you ride it? Part one, Hinton. The Awakening Jeffrey. Hinton devoted his life to neural networks when most scientists dismissed them as a dead end. His work gave machines the ability to see, hear, understand, and speak. But when he left big tech, he spoke plainly. AI's risks aren't just bugs. They might touch the edge of human survival itself. Hinton divides the risks into two layers. Layer one, human misuse, fraud, deep fakes, exponential cyber attacks, election manipulation through micro-targeting, and autonomous weapons that lower the cost of war. Layer two, AI surpassing us, a super intelligence that decides it doesn't need humanity to achieve its goals. You might think, that sounds far-fetched. Machines are still dumb, but Hinton drops a brutal truth. Digital minds can replicate and synchronize. 10 copies of the same brain can each study 10 different things, then merge their knowledge instantly. Humans can't. We exchange only a few dozen bits per second through language. Machines can share trillions. When sharing is instant and learning is parallel, the result is non-human creativity. Patterns and metaphors we can't even perceive. Part two, Sutskever, the biological machine. Ilya Sutskever said something hard to deny. The human brain is a biological computer. If biology can do it, then digital systems can too. It's only a matter of time, data, and energy. Today's AI is still flawed, but it's already powerful enough to hint at what's next. When AI can do everything a human can learn, the question flips entirely. What will we use AI for? Work, growth, research? When AI starts researching AI, the curve of progress bends upward, fast. Sutskever reminds us of an old quote. You may not take an interest in politics, but politics will take an interest in you. With AI, it's a thousand times more true. You may not want to think about it, but one day it will knock on your door, your job, your business, your family. Part three, Schmidt. The Industrial Revolution of Intelligence. Eric Schmidt is blunt. Within a year, most programmers will be replaced by AI programmers. And in three to five years, we may hit AGI. Systems as capable and adaptable as the best human minds. The key term, self-improvement. Yesterday, humans wrote software. Today, much of the code is proposed by machines. Tomorrow, machines will design, test, optimize, and deploy in closed loops. When digital labor becomes infinite and nearly free, evolution goes red hot. And it won't stop at code. When AI gains reasoning, mathematics, and planning, it becomes the architect of entire processes. You might soon say, find the land, apply for permits, design the site, hire contractors, handle payments, and verify completion. An AI agent with memory, tools, and a goal will chain all those steps together. Part four, rise of the agents. So what's an agent? It's a system that can observe, remember, act, self-check, and iterate. Today, they look like assistants. 
Tomorrow, they'll act like delegates. You tell them the goal and they find the path. Three breakthroughs are driving this massive context windows so AI can remember and plan long term. Tool use, letting AI manipulate the digital world as humans do. Text to code, speak a task, and the machine writes the software. Sounds thrilling, right? But it's also dangerous. When autonomous agents can negotiate, sign contracts, make payments, and trigger real-world actions, we'll need guardrails, transparent logs, recall systems, legal and ethical checks, not just engineering, governance, accountability, and energy. Part 5. The Real Power Problem Hinton warns, cognitive labor will be replaced first. One person with AI could do the work of five to 10 people. Companies will optimize costs. Societies will face the question, what do humans do next? If we fail to reskill fast enough, the gap between rich and poor will tear open. Value will flow to whoever owns the models, data, and compute infrastructure. UBI may help people survive, but purpose and dignity can't be bought. And there's an elephant in the room, electricity. A GI doesn't run on promises, percent, it runs on gigawatts. We'll need to plan clean energy, data centers, and power grids now. Part six, the survival playbook. For individuals, AI first skill set: learn to prompt, test, and verify. Personal moat, domain expertise plus workflows you can automate. Stay grounded. Physical and operational jobs are harder to replace. Keep learning. Every week, automate one small real-world task with a mini-agent. Always verify. They never delegate without double-checking outputs. For companies, turn SOPs into agent workflows with guardrails and logs. Prioritize data security and legal compliance. Redefine KPIS. Measure time to value, not hours work. For society and policymakers, transparency in high risk domains, healthcare, finance, governance. Clean power for computation, infrastructure must evolve. Nationwide retraining and safety nets for displaced workers. Part 7 The Deadline. Hinton doesn't sell fear, he sets a deadline. We may have 10 to 20 years to make sure these new intelligences don't want to harm us. Sotskiva reminds us, even if you turn away, AI is still moving toward you. And Schmidt admits, we don't even have the language yet to describe what's coming. So the real question isn't if, it's where you'll stand when the wave arrives. Will you be swept away or will you learn to ride it? If you want the next chapter, AI Survival Playbook. How to turn your 10-step SOP into a self-running agent and verify AI safely within the law. Comment playbook below. For now, tell me, what kind of guardrails would you want your country to have? And remember, billionaire investment will keep uncovering the master blueprints of power shaping the AI era. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications because this is just the beginning of the most powerful story of our time.